So I'm addicted. Not to anything bad per se. If that's what you're thinking, of course. I'm addicted to one particular Pokemon game. This is actually like one of the greatest Pokemon games that Nintendo should actually release. If you don't know what I'm talking about by now, I'm talking about the game Pokero. It's a fan-made Pokemon game that brings the battle formula and sticks it to more like a strategy-ish game that's like, yeah, anyways, it's hard to explain. Yes, I know Pokemon is usually a strategy game. But usually when I'm playing a Pokemon game, I hate the battle system. Yeah, maybe Pokemon's not for me, but I don't really like it. I feel like I'm just mashing buttons and there's not really a challenge besides just over leveling your Pokemon and mashing a button. But this game, it allows you every single round, you get to pick an item after you beat a Pokemon. And that's fantastic. You could also catch them and make your team stronger and kind of form it around your team and it's just a fantastic game now every round that you defeat these items that show up is either potions some um, heal items or like uh, revives maybe it's even some battle items maybe even some money money items so you can get money so you can buy more things like potions and revives those are always there always going to be at your disposal just in case one of your pokemon faint you can get that now this game is very addictive because like your goal is tr to try to get to round 100 but th they put pokemon that are really strong in the way i've encountered a lugia before in this game you have to get it at a pretty high level but when you get there it's all worth it now imagine if nintendo would take this formula of pokemon game and just sell it to you you know how much money they would make from this because if you're into like battling kind of like me i'm kind of into battling now that i've played this game you would appreciate this pokemon game they don't even have to sell it for very much like the nintendo or pokemon company would probably sell it for way too much but i feel like the idea is there maybe adding a multiplayer mode so you can play against your friends would be a fun idea. Hopefully Nintendo takes note of this Pokemon game and just looks at it as an inspiration so they can make a good Pokemon game. Now this game in particular is something very very special. Now I know there's a lot of other fan made Pokemon games but it's not as catchy as this one. This one you don't have to download anything yeah don't have to do anything. All you have to do is go into whatever browser you use and search up Pokey Road. And hey, it's it's fantastic. You could do a whole lot of things if you're playing a mobile, PC, whatever Google Chrome browser you're using, I bet they'll have it. Maybe even on the Wii U. Hey, you can maybe search something up on the Wii U, the Nintendo Switch potentially if you can get to the the uh, Google browser or whatever whatever you're using. You could potentially get there. If that's even still a thing, uh, I bet you could get there. You want to do it on PlayStation? You can do it on PlayStation. You could play this game on multiple browsers across the board. Now, it's a little harder to play it on the phone, but you'll get there. Yes. Now, I wanted to say, I wanted to note that this game actually came out a month ago. It, it became really popular. Now, I only recently saw it. Like, I was like, huh. What the heck is this? I've never seen this Pokemon game. Whoa! This is like magic. This is a magic Pokemon game. Where, where do I get this? And I'm over here just typing how to get Pokemon Rogue. And then I'm like, what? Okay, so I click on the first link, which you should never do, by the way. Anyways, I clicked on it, and here we are. We're at Pokey Rogue, if that's even what you're saying. English is not my first language, but anyways, Pokey Rogue. Um, hey, it was there. And I was trying to figure out how to use the keys because it's the the arrow keys on computer and stuff. And I was trying to figure it out. And then eventually, after a quick Google search, I was able to figure it out. But the funny part is that you can use a controller for this game, and that is amazing. You can put it to five times speed, so you can have fun, a bigger adventure, and things. You so, all right. 
I haven't got to the main purpose of the game, really. Well, what you start off with. Anyways, when you start the game, you have to create a account. All you have to do is use a random username and a password. Now you use this random username and password, and then you're in. You're into Poker Rogue. Now you could go to settings and you could change it to a gamepad, so a controller, or you can change it to keyboard and mouse if you want that. And once you get into playing the game, you have you get to pick in between every single starter that ever existed. Three starters you get to pick from them, from Gen 1 all the way to Gen 9. You can pick any starter in between. If you want it to be Charmander and uh, Mudkip and even Fue Coco, you can have those. But I feel like the best strategy would be a Firewater Grass because that, that's what I've been doing. And it's been working good enough. But once you get at a high level, you kind of ditch the starters and get yourself a Pokemon. Because it's just so much easier to just grab a higher level Pokemon than it is to try to train it and stuff. Unless that's your main. Like, let's just say you're using um, Fue Coco all the time. You're using Fue Coco. He's going to be the highest level on your team. And you're probably going to keep Fue Coco because he's your main. He's your main Pokemon that you've been using throughout your journey. And you can save the game, of course. You can even just leave. Just straight up leave. You save the game, and then you can get back on, sign into your account again, and then play. Now, Nintendo should really take note of this, or the Pokemon company, we should say. It's not really Nintendo. Nintendo's just like the, the game sellers. Anyways, now, the Pokemon company should really take note of this game. How it does things so well. If they would make a game like this, let me tell you. I bet that it would sell so well. It would sell so fantastically. And then, even... Even just selling it for like, what, $40 maybe? $30 when you can play for free now? $30. Sell it for $30 Canadian. So that would be maybe 20 states-ish. Sell it for that price, and that, let me tell you, I bet that people would be buying your game. Because even if you add a multiplayer function, like a functionality so you can play against your friend, feel like that would be a fantastic game. I don't know. I'm not sure if you can play against your friend right now, but you know, it's the game. It's there. It's 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 ready. It's so addicting that game. You're like, I gotta get higher, I gotta get higher. Ooh, I want the new Pokemon. And every time you catch a Pokemon, you add it to your Pokedex kind of. And then you could start off the game. Let's just say you lose, because if your Pokemon faint, all your Pokemon faint, you have to restart. If you lose, you get those Pokemon from the decks and you can bring them in your first battle. Let's just say you catch your Lugia. You can bring the Lugia from the battle that you got to round 70. And then you can bring it and then start it off at level 1. It's a fantastic concept of a game. I love this game. It's just a fun game to play for maybe 30 minutes and then move on to your, your day. You're not going to be playing all the time. But hey, if you want to, you can do it. You can try to get to level 5,000. I think actually that might be the, the cap. But your goal really is to try to get to level 100 because that's where all the Pokemon are available to you. And the game just starts to get really, really hard. So if you haven't played Poke Pokey Rope, I suggest you should uh, potentially try it out before the Pokemon company uh, takes it down. But hey, you know, it's just a game. And I hope the Pokemon company takes note of this game and maybe it releases it in the future. We have a June Direct coming up. Hopefully we see something like this. Something new and exciting. And what do you think What do you think about Pokey Rogue? Do you think it's a fantastic game? Do you think it's a iffy game concept? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below. And I really appreciate you watching this video all the way to the end. You really mean the world to me. And um, with that being said, I hope you have a fantastic day or night. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.